Hey guys, what is up? It is no help and welcome back to another video today. So if you guys like the video, make sure to go ahead and smash the like button. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a great way of training range on a lower level account that could be a pure, that could just be an Ironman, it could be any account that wants to train range super AFK where you only have to look at the screen maybe five to six times, seven an hour. Very, very good, very good for low levels and does not need too many requirements at all. This is personally how I got from 60 to about 71 range on this account, just AFKing on the side. And the good thing about this place is it has a lot less competition than the other spots. And of course, we're gonna be killing sand crabs. Okay, so we're just actually on the RuneScape wiki right now. And this is what the quest you're gonna have to go ahead and complete. It's called the Deaths of Despair. It's actually a fairly easy quest to go ahead and complete, not needing many requirements at all. Short quest just takes you through a few things and then you get the Deaths of Despair completed. You get one quest point, 4,000 coins, 1,500 agility XP, so it's definitely worth doing, especially on a low level account. And you also get a favor certificate, which can help if you do not have all of the favor yet. After that, you will unlock the Crab Law Caves, which is just very, uh, just pretty much south of the Woodcutting Guild, and this is a, w a way better spot to go ahead and kill these sand crabs. I will obviously show you guys the location that I killed them at, and why it's so much better than just going to the regular beach. Okay, so this is the setup that I'm bringing. It's nothing crazy. We have the Helm of Nezi Knots, we have the Amulet of Glory, some Rune Arrows, Ava's Accumulator, Black Dehyde. Um, boots of Brimstone, Ring, this is just for teleporting, and then the Combat Bracelet. Um, and then I'm using the Magic Shortbow imbued. You can go ahead and use darts. I would actually recommend you use darts here, but this is pretty much the best setup that I have on this account. Now, keep in mind, you pretty much want to upgrade everything I have. You could go ahead and get Archer's Helm. You can go get the Anguish Necklace. You can get the Robin Boots, Ranger Boots, sorry. And then um, if you're a lot lower level, you can get the uh, Rejuvenation Bracelet. And you could wear an Archer's Ring, but this is just basically the gear that I'm going to be taking, as well as, you know, 10 food and then a Skills Necklace in order to go ahead and get there. Okay, so when you're ready, pretty much just go ahead and rub your skills necklace over to the woodcutting guild. And from the woodcutting guild, as I said before, you're just going to want to run completely south. And you'll see it in just a second here. There'll be a little cave entrance on the mini map. And pretty much just want to go ahead and go down the cave. Just a little bit more up here. And as you can see right here, you just want to go ahead and enter this cave. Now, there is still some competition here, but it is a lot better than the other spots. And you, always, you will always have multiple crabs on you with this location. I will also show you the tile markers that I have set up in order to go and kill them down here. I'm just going to make sure that there is nobody in this world. Yes, there is nobody in this world. Perfect. So the, here is a spot actually where this guy is that you can go ahead and kill them. Worst case scenario, go to this spot right here, but best case scenario, go to this spot right here. I have it marked on the tile. The best spot to go ahead and kill them. You can sit here for 10 minutes, fully AFK, and then pretty much just run out of the, um, the cave, come back into this spot right here. Make sure you're on rapid and auto retaliate is on, obviously. You will not really need food. I just bring it in case of emergency here. And there is a rune light plugin that is called NPC aggression timer, and it will show you that they will be aggressive to me for nine minutes, 31 seconds. Very, very useful plugin to go ahead and get for pretty much at any combat in this game, but very helpful here as well. So you know when you have to run out of the cave, come back in and kill them again. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, reset the experience on the side here. All right, so we've been doing it for a few minutes now, and as you can see, we've gained about a thousand experience already. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this for probably 15, 20 minutes, and I will be back. All right, so we are about six, seven minutes into this now. And as you can see, we have gained about 7k range. We're pushing around 50k an hour. Yeah, I really like this spot. It's very good. It's not um, congested like the regular spot. It's fully AFK until you have to reset the spot. There is always a crab on you. I don't care what level your range is. There will always be a crab on you. Um, it's just consistent. Um, very, very good method, especially maybe a peer. Peers can definitely train here. I um, and just other types of accounts as well or if you just want to you know kill some uh, sand crabs on the side maybe you're busy you want to watch a movie or something this is such a great place to go ahead and kill them and I'm definitely like I said going to be doing this until at least 75 range until I have the blowpipe because from there you can use the blowpipe with slayer and it's obviously very very fast so that's probably the plans that I'm going to be doing on this account and uh 
pretty much stress free it doesn't really cost too much either you get most of the arrows back and you don't have to use rune arrows you could even use something like mithril darts or whatever you know you want to go ahead and use now i'm going to show you how to quickly reset it as you can see the aggression timer did go away um so if i walk up to another sand crab he's not going to get on me right so you just basically you don't have to fully run out of the cave i just tend to do that just so that it does fully reset actually right there you can see that it did reset we walk around here that's why it's very helpful to have this plug in and then we can we know that they'll be aggressive to us again we can just walk back up to the location of the tile marker and just plop ourselves down back for another afk session it's that easy you just have to do that five six times an hour and you'll get 50k range and uh super chill the only problem with this method is you do not make money i know there's tons of people that do things like they camp wyverns for you know months on end to train their range just to make some money that is also a good option that you could go ahead and do do, but I really like this method. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video today. And uh, if you watched, went ahead and watched the whole video, comment Sand Crab down below. Thank you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Also, this is the first video that I'm going to be recording on the new PC, so let me know down in the comments below as well um, how it looks, how it sounds, stuff like that. I'm still working on a few things. Anyways, see you guys in the next one.